So I woke up a little earlier than normal, uh, not by choice this morning, but I figured since I'm about an hour earlier than normal getting out the door to work, might as well go do some bourbon hunting at one of the best liquor stores in the area. This is a place you totally gotta check out if you're ever in the Cincinnati area. So let's go check out the Party Source. So the Party Source is one of Kentucky's biggest liquor stores in the state. It is about 60,000 square feet, and it's actually in the parking lot of New Rift Distillery. So this was actually once owned by the owner of New Rift. That's who actually developed this liquor store. But because of Kentucky state law, you can't own it and sell it all at once. So in order to create New Rift, he had to sell the liquor store but the liquor store is owned by the employees. That's who he sold it to. So about 70 of the 120 employees have a stake or have part in this liquor store. Currently undergoing a little bit of construction, as you can see. Some local distilleries. go the whiskey aisle scotch here we go so here we are already a much better selection than the last place we were at 291 um, out of Colorado I've heard good things and also from Redwood Empire We've got Savage and Cook bottles, Woodenville. I mean, if you're looking for a, a selection, this is the store you gotta go to. Garrison Brothers, Whiskey Del Bach, Milliman Green, really starting to hit the scene as well. Pretty good High West um, selection. Old Elk, Ben Holiday, Bottle and Bond. This one's relatively unknown and new to the scene, Barman. Um, this is actually from Coors, uh, Coors Whiskey Company. So Coors, the beer, they're finally getting into the whiskey game. It's not a bad, and I think Five Trail is also uh, a blend of different different bourbons, and I think a single malt, so. Looks like it's 50 bucks for the American single malt, small batch and barrel proof, a little hotter. On the, on the price, but those come, those, these bottles, yeah, they're coming from Coors Whiskey Company. Blended American whiskey, proofed with Rocky Mountain water. Three cords, starting to see a lot more of this. The, here, the honey barrel is legit. Back to some more few spirits, American straight whiskey. Any of the smoke wagons that you want. Oh, there we go. Fourth of July bottle. This is really good. This Hemingway, 120 bucks. I think that would be worth it if you haven't had it yet. Kings County. Three. The, uh, the Third Infantry Division, 82nd Airborne, I've heard good things about those. I mean, if you are looking for it, there's a good chance they've got it, unless it's highly allocated. Old Pepper Distillery, this is new to the scene. Last year they just had the rye. This is bottled and bought bourbon. Hard truth if you haven't checked them out. Fantastic. Barrel Vantage. Wouldn't ever pass that up if you haven't had it. Broken Barrel. Really starting to put out some good stuff. Hinhook. Boone, Boone County. A lot of local stuff. Castle and Key, Peerless, 
got the high ride, regular small bats, the absinthe barrel, depth the creed, prideful goat, Wiseman. Has anybody had this yet? I haven't tried that one yet. The uh, Kentucky All kind of starter, low end. I mean, what is it that you guys are looking for? Is that a bottle that you are searching out that you'd love to find and want to see? Buzzard's Roost. Char 1. Just tried that a couple weeks ago. Very, very good. Never heard of Goodwood, though. That's a new one. All the blade and bow that you want. Great story behind those, if you haven't heard already, but... They have five keys, and if you get all five keys, then you can send them into the Stitzelweller Distillery, and they'll uh, they'll engrave your name in a goblet in their like wall of fame. New riff, proudly uh, presented here. Okay, I Bardstown, still looking for the Origin series uh, Rye, Art of Alchemy. Great stuff from Jim Rutledge. Uh, part of that's Jim Rutledge. Uh, blended, that's blend number one. We did a whiskey review for that on the podcast. Four Roses, you got pretty much the entire benchmark um, line. Full proof, single barrel, small batch, top floor. Looks like the bonded might be the only one they don't have today. Fortuna from Rare Character. The old fashions from... Um, Andy and Schiller, very old Barton. You've got the the Willets. I mean, the old the old Bardstown, that Kentucky only um, for a couple of those. Bourbon cream. Anybody ever had Jeffers Creek? Kind of the old school Weller bottle look. Haven't heard great things. Hayden Barn, the new Jackie's I Can startup about a year ago. 1792 small batch. A little pricey. Not gonna find a real here. They're actually putting a, a bar back here, and that's currently why things are under construction. Chattanooga whiskey. If you haven't seen their bottle and bond, or if you have seen it, grab it. <laughs> the Jack series, of course. We've got the triple mash bonded. Uh, also got single barrel proof, single barrel rye, single barrel select, the regular Jack mixers, Nashville Barrel Company, great people over there doing great things. Blue Note, Riverset Rye, the hauling station. Like I said, guys, this is the place to be if you're looking for a selection. New. WM Tar from RD1 out in Lexington. Sagamore Spirit Rye. There's such an amazing selection in this place. You got your Cooperstown Double Day bean balls. So some baseball theme. There's your bourbon and baseball part of this bourbon and baseball podcast. The Woodford, the Double Oat, always a great go to. Heaven's Door. Coming from Bob Dylan, um, Brothers Bond. I've heard great things about the cask strength. I've tried the rye, and the uh, the Brothers Bond bourbon itself is a pretty good, uh, I'd say, old fashioned mixer. But that's a little pricey at forty eight ninety nine. Hey, look, Buffalo Trace Day. Of course, you've got.
bourbon and liquor cream. So you've got maple bourbon cream, hard truth, good stuff there. Chocolate bourbon ball, uh, bourbon cream. I'd take Boone County or the, this Middle West bourbon cream might be the best out there. So grab that up or this hard truth maple bourbon cream. Fantastic. And I've heard good things about the peanut brittle bourbon cream as well. So this is all kind of tossed apart. But this liquor store, man, you got to check it out. Huge selection. Here's your some of their store picks. Can't go wrong with Starlight. Well, there you have it. That was the party source in Northern Kentucky. Walked out with a regular Buffalo Trace 750 milliliter. Uh, not that I need it. I have a friend who did ask next time I saw one to grab one. But a lot to choose from there. I'll definitely be back and I may be grabbing that Hemingway Rye. That's the one that probably stuck out the most to me or that Smoke Wagon uh, USA because you got to collect them all, right? Which bottle did you see that you would have grabbed? Leave that in the comments section below. Thanks for watching. We'll go do it again some other time.